Today we bring to you the review of the book Because of Vin Dixie by Kate DiCamillo. Published in 2000, this book has won many awards. It has also been made into a full-length feature film with the same name. I highly recommend this book for children. Parents can also read this book to their kids and I'm sure they will love it. This book shows children the value of compassion, empathy and the joy it brings to everyone around. The central character of this book is a girl named India Opel Buloni, a 10-year-old girl who has just moved to Naomi, Florida with her father. Her mother left her when she was just three years old. Her father, with whom she had a cold relationship at start, is a preacher at the nearby church. Because of the move to Naomi, Opal had to leave all her friends behind in Watley up in North Florida. With her father spending most of his time preaching, she feels quite lonely. It was hard for her to make new friends in Naomi as there were few kids around and most of them were hard to make friends with. One sunny day, all of this changes when Opal goes to a nearby store named Win Dixie to get groceries. By the way, Opal is what her preacher dad liked to call her, as it was her mother's name whom he loved a lot. As she enters the store, she sees a dog running around creating havoc. He had knocked down all the vegetables and groceries on the floor. The dog was big and ugly. He was skinny, one could see his ribs and had bald patches all over him. He had some wound on his leg which made him limp. He was a suffering dog abandoned by his owner. Even though in bad shape, the dog was cheerful. He smiled and wagged his tail when he saw Opal. Opal felt some strange connection to the dog. She likes him and brings him to her home. She named him Win Dixie after the store she found him at and convinces her father to let her keep Win Dixie with them. Opal gives Win Dixie a nice shower and dries him up. Win Dixie is her new friend, the only friend at her new place. She tells him all about herself that her mama left her when she was three years old or that she did not have any friends, with Win Dixie listening to her attentively. Slowly, Win Dixie becomes part of their family. Opal takes Win Dixie to all places she would go, to the church, to the library, to the store, as he would not like to be left alone. Especially when there's thunderstorm, he would get paranoid. He had fear of thunderstorm and loud noises. When at church, Opal always talked to God on how she was lonely and did not have any friends as there weren't many kids nearby. The other kids, Dunlop and Stevie, Amanda Wilkinson or Sweetie Pie Thomas, none wanted to be her friends as she was a preacher's daughter. Opal spent most of her time at the library. This is Opal spent most of her time at the library. This is the place where she meets her first friend, Miss Frank Block. Frank Block is an old lady in charge of the library. There's a funny incident that happens when Miss Frank Block sees Win Dixie for the very first time. She mistakes him for a bear and goes hysterical. Win Dixie did not take much time to charm Frank Block with his smile. Now Miss Frank too becomes friend with Win Dixie. Opal is happy too as she gets her first friend in Naomi thanks to Win Dixie. Slowly Win Dixie's charm wins over others too and Opal starts to make new friends in Naomi. Now she has many friends. Otis, the manager at Getrude Pet Store, Gloria Dump, an old lady whom Dunlop and Stevie call the scary witch. Is she really a witch? <laughs> no, she's not the witch they assume. She's a sweet lady who also fell for Win Dixie's charming ways and who gives him his favorite peanut butter. That is something Win Dixie loves. 
Sweetie Pie Thomas also starts talking to Opal so that she can be close to Win Dixie. Even the twin bald boys Dunlop and Stevie Dewberry ultimately become friends with Opal. Amanda Wilkinson, who always had a pinch of expression on her face, also turns out to be a good friend to Opal. She has her own sorrowful story which you can read in the book. One day, to celebrate their friendship, Opal arranges a small party at Gloria's backyard. They make some egg salad sandwich and punch. Otis gets his favorite pickles to share. As they are in midst of their joyful time together, there's a rumble of thunder with the grey clouds following and soon it starts to pour. Everyone rushes to save the food and themselves from getting wet. While doing so, they forget about their charming friend Win Dixie, who has a pathological fear of thunderstorms. By the time everyone realizes this, Win Dixie is nowhere to be seen. Everyone gets hysterical and is stressed out, especially Opal. Win Dixie is her best friend and she runs around to look for him, but the darkness around just makes it difficult to find Win Dixie. So, what happens to Win Dixie? Is he lost forever or will Opal and Win Dixie reunite? You will know the answers to it when you read this wonderful book because of Win Dixie. The story has many beautiful moments. The misunderstood Otis, who mesmerizes everyone with his soulful music, even the pets at his store. Opal's interaction with the so-called witch lady Gloria Dump. The wisdom she shares with Opal along with yummy peanut butter, so loved by Win Dixie. Ten things about Opal's mother shared by her dad or Opal's first experience with Win Dixie on a thunderous night which scares Win Dixie to run helter-skelter. Or the incident at the party which brings Opal and her father closer. And yes, the fascinating story behind Miss Frank Block's sweet and sad candy. The story teaches children to show empathy towards others, makes them understand to love what you have while you've got it. Everyone has some sorrow in their life, but we all need to look forward to the sunshine the next day as the happy moment is just around the corner. I hope you like the review. I'm sure you will love this book. So go ahead and get a copy from your nearest bookstore or library. You can even have a book read aloud fun time with your friends. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. We will bring you more such book reviews. Thanks for watching.